Now, if you don't know exactly what articulated means in terms of a, a Lego train bogey, this means that the uh, bogey, just by having a, has a three axles and um, all the wheels are off flanged, yet it can still go through the curves. Curves thanks to um, some design features. Today, I'm going to show you a, the uh, most simplistic way to possibly yeah, make one of these bogeys with only a few essential parts that most of you hopefully should have. So, here we go. Now, you can use this trick on a few things, such as um, six axle bogeys or British tenders, which usually may consist of um, three or four axles on a uh, rigid frame, which is exactly what I'm going to show you today. So, first, you're going to need two pairs of them. Um, these wheels, which easily come accessible in a typical LEGO train set. You can take them off on perhaps motor trains, or maybe you might just, or depending on what kind of a wheels you can find in the uh, set. You're additionally going to need your uh, middle pair of them, um, your middle axle. Now the rear end front axles will actually be spaced out four studs wide, but that will not be the same for this middle axle. Unlike the uh, front and rear axles, the mid... Okay. Unlike the front and rear axles, the middle axle will simply be a space between only two... will only have uh, some space on the inside, or in other English. That's pretty much all that's holding it in, so in essentially a two stud wide frame, and which will simply allow the uh, bogey to, uh, well actually no, the uh, axle to slide back and forth. I'll show you. Now there's many other ways you could uh, perhaps make this bogey. I'm just gonna do, do it this, with this uh, way I uh, came up with. So you can see we've got the uh, front and rear axles on. Now we're going to insert the middle axle right in here. Voila. Pretty simple. So you can see the um, e that uh, you can pretty much see the uh, difference with these um, where the axles are actually uh, spaced out. You can see so. The front and rear axles pretty much have um, no place to go, but the middle axle does, which, which in this term, will allow it to slide from side to side when traversing curves. You can see that these wheels stay in place, but these don't, which essentially allow the, the thing to traverse curves. Now, let's, how about we insert the body? So, you, so if you uh, paid attention carefully, then congratulations, you have officially made your first articulated train bogey without having the need to use uh, any of this or have, or have the frame bend. This actually can be a really helpful and cosmetic trick for um, people making six axle bogeys, yes. which can also be helpful if you're making a, a steam locomotive with um, six axles. Like a like the uh, 2666 Alleghenies from the Chesapeake in Ohio, or the uh, Pennsylvania S1, a uh, 6446, or if you happen to be a uh, diesel fan. Again, hope you find this tr you found this um, articulated train bogey trick helpful. If so, feel free to let me know in the comments. Again, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Peace out, Rail fans.